Hello everyone, Mr. Horse. This is part four of Bridge Over Troubled Water. And in this video, I would like to finish the second version of my uh, guitar arrangement for the song. This is the Impressionist version. Okay, so as I show you uh, in part three already, the basic, you know. Now this part, I want to talk about it a little bit. This is probably the hurdle of the song. Because it's so, it's, it's pretty fast. Playing sixteenth note and um, you know and change it's pretty quite rapid, quite rapid. So you know, both hands are moving really fast, and then you you're still singing, and you're singing. You know, so you know. I will try them more, try them more. Oh. See. Try them more, try them more. Oh. Oh. So. Here is what you do, you know. I will try them one and two, one and two, and that's when you change from D to G chord. And then one and two and three and four and and then the one. Same uh, as uh, in the second uh, verse. I will comfort, comfort you. You know, so you have that change. You know, you. And that's the rest. Okay, so this part really needs a lot of practice. Okay. One and two and one and two and one and two and okay.
So you could, that's why you have to use drop D tuning. So that is very, very quite challenging, I think. So that's, you know, the first thing I wanted to discuss. The second thing is the three verses, the, the three, the endings are different, all different. So in the first, first verse, you've got the... original one, original ending. So it's G A D. G A six A six actually. A six D G A six D Celtic flavor. That's the first verse, and the second verse different. different but not too different okay so when you are singing it I mean if you want to sing it the way Mr. Garfunkel you know uh, sings it or sing it then you have to uh, you know change adjust your chords accordingly you know So that's the first and second. The last thing I want to show you is the uh, the third ending, and the third ending is quite different. I mean, quite different. And then from the third ending, of course, it goes to the end, which is the outro, and outro is something we need to work on okay it's it's different from the the intro is also different from the transition of phrase between verses so it, it, it's it's a new section so we need to you know show you how to do it so the first time the third you know in the third verse and then the second time like oh, okay it's too high
that's the end. I mean, you know, I'm not going into the outro solo yet. I mean, not really a solo. Now that is the ending. My impression of the ending. Got it. Remember, this is the impressionist. Uh, arrangement right so basically it's major turns minor back to a part so you gotta go back to the D right I mean that's why that's the D chord this is getting the key of D major drop big tuning so we have to go back to with that low you know D so because it's so different you know because so different a melody we actually have to use a different a new chord F sharp major. So you have G F sharp major and E major. Right. Back. Same progression. A third verse, not the third verse. I'm, mean, I'm getting pretty tired. So, yeah. So you know, again. That's a E major chord, and then the E major seventh. Go back to. And then here is uh, E major, uh, E E E major at nine. Then the you can you can play here. You can do it here. See, there are different ways to play it. In fact, this passage is is in the in the, in the piano. This is you know not just impression actually. This is how it was played. That's how it is. So this is the. Impressionist version of Bridge Over Troubled Water. Pretty cool. I don't like the word cool, but I don't, I don't know why I say it.
Anyway, have fun. And good luck.